Assalamu alaikum. Hello dear students. How are you everybody? I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am fine too. Probably you all have become very tired of staying at home for a long time. Don't worry, I am, Eng I am your English teacher. Uh, I will teach you English for today. So dear students, don't be late. Take out your English for today book, exercise book uh, and other materials before going to our lesson. I will. I'll show you some pictures. Look at the screen. The students look at the screen. The students uh, here we see three pictures uh, on uh, on first in the first picture we see a flower garden. Uh, in this picture, uh, the picture shows us that a uh, woman is working in the field. In the next picture, uh, we see Saleh's shop, and this is a grocery shop. Uh, women also runs the shop. In the last uh, picture, we see uh, some middle-aged woman uh, is uh, making nokshi katha. Uh, sitting you know, on the veranda. So the students, now I will cast a uh, uh, question to you. How do these women contribute for the society? So I will take you this time. I will take you to our text again now open your book at page 44 The student today our um, today will teach you unit 5 and the unit title is making difference. Uh, this is unit picture. Uh, in this picture, uh, I will ask you some questions. Uh, um, first of all, think about the pictures uh, for one minute. Uh, later, I ask you uh, two or three questions. The students observe. Uh, how can you observe this picture? Suppose uh, you will observe the foreground and background of the picture. Picture uh, we see here uh, some um, wooden or uh, uh, wooden or earthen hut, we see here banana tree, bamboo fans, trees, grasses, etc. We see here a shop, uh, we have three people, uh, there, uh, perhaps perhaps uh, the woman is a shopkeeper and the other is our customers. So, so dear students, now I'll ask you first question, questions, what is the difference uh, of the picture uh, than, uh, than a traditional shop? Uh, usually, you see in you, uh, in a traditional shop, men runs uh, uh, it. But here in the pictures, in all these pictures, you see uh, the um, shopkeeper. All the shopkeeper, uh, all the active persons are women. So in this case, uh, I will help you to answer this question. This uh, um, here, the difference is the women is sh shopkeeper. The students now, I will. Uh, ask you another question. Who is the salesperson here? You know salesperson. The salesperson is the person who sells some goods, some things uh, in a shop. Okay, this later I am uh, going to next questions. Uh, can you tell me uh, what, what is the setting of this uh, uh, of this picture, the surroundings? Uh, what is this place? Uh, can you tell me? Actually, uh, I can help you uh, to answer the question. Uh, this is a picture of a village because all the characteristics of a village we see in the picture. The students, now, uh, in this stage, I will uh, uh, read out already uh, the book before you. I will read out and you will try to read uh, the outcomings of this lesson. The students, after we have studied this unit, will be able to read and understand text through silent reading. That means you will write, you will uh, read this text silently uh, infer meaning from a context there is a new word infer means to reach an opinion uh, or uh, decide anything that is true and that will be in on the basis of your text okay my dear students next ask and answer questions and the right answers questions the students now uh, go to the next page uh, next page uh, page 45 45 I try and see you the students, this is, uh, this is the page. Uh, which page uh, are you on? On 45 page. Okay, dear students, uh, now I announce the lesson title, uh, the beginning. Our lesson title is the beginning. 
quickly write write the lesson title on the top of your exercise book. The students now, uh, before going to read uh, a text, if you want to t um, understand a text properly, uh, if you want to uh, uh, answer any questions properly, uh, first of all you, you have to know that a real hidden uh, inner and all overall sense of a uh, text so the the students uh, first of all i will uh, uh, discuss about uh, keywords and later i will uh, give you some keywords and their meanings the students first of all there are some keywords number one typical you know typical what is a typical typical means typical typical is an adjective word this is relating to some common features of a particular place uh, things etc uh, the synonyms uh, of words typical means usual, common, representative. The next word is extraordinary. Extraordinary means uh, pr uh, pronounce after me, follow me, uh, follow, follow me. Extraordinary means unusual, uncommon, amazing, remarkable, etc. Maybe, maybe uh, uh, more uh, various synonyms words. Later we see a willpower. Willpower, uh, uh, strong mindset. Willpower. Next one, deter determination. We see here determination. Determination means resolution, resol uh, um, uh, resolve, uh, etc. And uh, aspect. We see aspect means part, feature, characteristics, etc. Spirit. Spirit is strength, guards. And the last was defined if we stand, uh, we stand, uh, it might be, and uh, many other words might be, but uh, you can uh, keep in your mind the defined means we stand. Okay, my dear students, later, uh, now uh, write down some uh, uh, keywords and their meaning. Okay, I have uh, presented here six keywords. And number one, typical, uh, typical, extraordinary, willpower, determination, aspect, and the students watch on the screen. Uh, here, uh, in the in the middle of the picture, you will see a uh, uh, image relating to the word. And on the uh, right hand corner, right hand on top of right hand corner, you will see uh, the meaning of the word. And the uh, right hand at the bottom of right hand uh, corner, corner, you will see uh, the sentence. Uh, make it that is made with the word the students um, first of all if you click here you will see a picture and uh, this is a picture uh, we see all the features of our unique picture here uh, so uh, there is a um, sentence Shubhanapur is a typical typical village the students uh, the meaning is having uh, common qualities of a place or things uh, please hurry up write down all the meaning of this word uh, uh, in your exercise book Dear students, next word, extraordinary, oh, this is a famous picture, you have known the, uh, you have uh, heard the name of Begum, Begum Rokia, this is Begum Rokia, Begum Rokia was an extraordinary woman, the meaning of this word means exceptional, uncommon, amazing, remarkable, you can say any other words relating to this. Uh, this one, so next word, willpower. You have seen in the picture, in the middle of the picture, you see a girl is, uh, a girl is holding a paper. Uh, in the paper, you see A+. plus. The paper contains A+. Plus. This one, so if you want to get a, a cut a brilliant result, you have to work hard, you have to work, uh, uh, read attentively, carefully, seriously, regularly, punctually. So my dear students, so there is no alternative to uh, to uh, alternative to hard work, my dear students. There is a sentence with a strong willpower. You can do anything. Next, uh, we see here the meaning of the word. Uh, a strong mind. Okay, the students. Um, uh, come back again. Uh, this the next word. Uh, determination. Uh, determination means uh, you know a strong will, uh, willpower, uh, of, uh, determination. Uh, this is determination you see in the middle of the picture uh man or woman we can recognize but we can say uh, uh he or she is uh, uh mountaineer uh, is climbing up a mountain and holding our national flag uh, so if this is very very difficult uh a difficult and risky adventure so my dear students if you if you want to do like this task you have you you should have determination so we, you must we, there is a sentence you must have a determination to succeed in life the meaning of this word yes a strength of mind my this is the next word aspect this is very important for you aspect means already i have told you 
uh, this uh, the meaning of this word uh, be honest in every aspect of your life be honest okay that means truthful you that truthful is the key to uh, success truthful is a great virtue you can say then um, uh, the uh, other synonym of this word feature part characteristics we have already reached uh, last word here odd you see the three pictures here and there's something else here and the students Shamina fought against all odds in her life and became successful the meaning of this word what barrier difficulty my dear students now I will take you to again uh, to our text now uh, please open uh, your books at page 45 The student, uh, uh, we have a uh, section A. Uh, here is an uh, uh, instruction read the test and take the best answers to the following questions. Now I will uh, read out this text and I, I will try to un make you understand by translating English to English. So there is a small village called, there is a small village called Bhavanipur in Jinedaha. Uh, small, small means you know tiny, trivial okay village called Bhavanipur that means Bhavanipur is a, is a small village uh, which is situated in Jinaidaha it is a typical Bangladeshi village the students already you know a lot of words about typical so this is a, a usual common village uh, people here spend their day to day life people uh, people of this village spend their time uh, pass their time uh, use their time for some uh, energy uh, doing their day-to-day -day life, you know, day-to-day -day means daily activities, everyday life. So they spend mostly working, mostly, mainly, largely, the largely, chiefly they work in a, in the fields and doing household activities, household work. Work in this the ordinary village, usual common ordinary means a uh, usual com uh, common village. They are lives and extraordinary women, amazing women, incredible women, unbelievable women named Shami Maftar, uh, Maya. Shamina's willpower and determination have made her extraordinary. My dear students, uh, this encourages us. Students, this time, uh, this time I will continue my translation. Uh, we have already perhaps uh, read, uh, read uh, in this ordinary. Oh no, uh, Shamina after my Shamina's willpower and determination have made her extraordinary. She has seen the most cruel aspect of life. She has seen. Has seen means experienced face the most cruel 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 do you know cruel cruel is harsh bitter uh but painful aspects uh, features of life but the cruelty could not de defeat defeat means de defeat means to stop somebody from doing something or to stop some uh, something from happening okay my dear, dear students that means the cruelty could not stop her spirit as she has come out as a winner, as a winner, she, she has been winner, victorious, victor, uh, successful. But the students define all the words. How? How? Uh, define all the arts of life. Define all the arts of life. Uh, with standing, uh, resisting, etc. The all arts of life. The students, so we have uh, reached, uh, we have reached uh, last pair of this text. Shami is now 32 years old. Uh, and she has only one son named Ashikur Rahman Konok, you know. Uh, she runs a small boutique, that means she runs, means she conducts uh, a small boutique uh, called Oikko Nariko Lanshonsta in her village. Let's hear from Shamima uh, how she uh, succeeded in setting up her boutique. My dear students, there is a source uh, from where uh, is adapted from Pratham June 17, 2005. Uh, now I will, uh, we will do uh, some MCQ, uh, MCQ uh, number one, uh, Bhavanipur is a typical Bangladeshi village here, the underlined word means uh, usual, uh, typical, you know already, you have known to this word, uh, typical means usual, unusual, no, famous, no, infamous, no, uh, not at all. Okay, the second question, uh, Shamini is an extraordinary, extraordinary, the underlined word means, means come on, uh, no, uh, simple, uh, no, it won't be amazing, it might be normal, so the best answer is amazing. Uh, the students, the next, qu next question, the people of determination, 
the question is a determination succeed in the long run here my dear students determination you know this word and so another letter the willpower weakness the strong desire we so uh, we will choose the best answer is, uh, is willpower my dear students there is an another phrase in the long run in the long run means in the long run means concerning uh, the longer period in the future okay uh, now uh, turn turn to the page uh, 46 turn to the page 46 the students there's also two uh, to MCQ, Shami has faced the darkest face, experience the darkest evil, bad uh, as bad situation of life. Her underlying uh, um, aspects, appearance, position, characteristics, peace, as usually we can say, characteristics. The tragedy in a Shami's life could not de defeat her spirit here. Yeah, the tragedy, tragedy means uh, a very sad uh, event, very sad event, very sad situation. Uh, so in his life. In her life, she could not defeat her speed. It goes to you know, the giant, giant uh, soul, strength, the wisdom of uh, without any hesitation, we can uh, choose uh, his strength as the best answer. So, my dear student, now uh, uh, we uh, this is a uh, section B. There is, uh, is an, an instruction. Read the text again. Perhaps uh, uh, you have learned the text so well. Uh, now match the phrases with the meanings day to day life. Already I, I, I have discussed about this word, household word, uh, cruel aspects of life, come out as a winner, all the hours of life, typical Bangladeshi village, distress and unkind un, un, un happenings in life beca become victorious everyday life, difficulties of life, having all the regular features of Bangladeshi village, the domestic chores. The students now will match these words with their meanings. Day to day life means everyday life. A housework, uh, whole work means domestic chores. Cruel aspects of life means unkind happenings in life. Uh, come out as a winner means uh, becomes victorious. And all the arts of life means difficulties of life. And the last one is typical, typical Bangladeshi village. Uh, means having all the regular features of a Bangladeshi village. Now, uh, we'll, uh, my dear students, just uh, wait a bit. Uh, I will take you to another uh, exercise. Uh, I have uh, excellent, interesting exercise for you. Uh, if you continue, you will get uh, good, uh, good exercise and good result from this lecture. The student, uh, look at the uh, screen. Look at the screen uh, before. Uh, uh, look at the screen. Uh, here are some true false for you. Uh, uh, if, if false, write the correct information. Uh, number A. Bhavanipur is an unusual type of uh, village in Jinnah. Here, uh, the word unusual type is a Bhavanipur unusual, usual or unusual, usual. That means this, uh, this statement uh, false. Uh, if it's false, uh, we will correct. Uh, we will correct it later. Uh, the most of the uh, people, the most of the people of this village are poor. Uh, how can uh, get, how can we guess the people of this village are poor? Uh, we have uh, learned in the text that uh, most of the people work in the fields and domestics are so uh, without any uh, any doubt. You can say really. Uh, the statement is true. The cruel aspects of life prevented as uh, Shamima from doing her work. Prevented is to stop. Uh, actually, uh, cruel is stop. Could it stop? No. Could not prevent it. So this statement, uh, statement is also false. The uh, the Shamima runs her boutique successfully. This is a good uh, sentence and right sentence. Uh, uh, lack of a strong desire is a reason. Lack of a strong desire uh, is a reason behind Shamima's success. Shamima's success behind lack of uh, strong desires, want of uh, want of strong desires. Uh, okay, my dear student, students, uh, now check your answers. Uh, first one is false. Uh, correct statement. Uh, Bhavanipur is a typical village in Jinnadoho. The B is uh, B is true, and um, uh, you see uh, C is uh, false. So correct statement is. Cruel express of life could not prevent Shamima from doing her work. And the next one is two. The last one is uh, false. So correct, uh, strong desire and determination are the reasons behind Shamima's uh, success, uh, dear student. And now the interesting exercise for you, gap feeling. Uh, this is also you will see in your uh, un uh, question, question paper. This there are some words. 
uh, um, obstacles, barrier, difficulty, experience, faced, home, one, ambition. These are where come on usual. Okay, my dear students, now we'll try to solve this problem. Bhavanipur is a dash village. What type of village? Uh, Bhavanipur is a common village in Jinedaho where where when people work mostly in fields and houses a promising women that means determined women named Shaminatta lived in that village whose ambition and strength of mind made her different from others and though she she experienced faced experienced uh, the most cruel aspects of life as she came out as a winner overcoming all the all the obstacles uh, she faced on her way to success. Now check uh, your answers. Yes, uh, all the correct and uh, common were ambition, the experience in the last one. Uh, e. Uh, dear students, uh, now this is another uh, uh, opportunity for you to uh, uh, fill in the gaps with the right form of the words in bracket. Okay, uh, dear students, dear my dear English learners, uh, you see a uh, gap filling, uh, a gap filling, filling the gaps with right form of the words in a bracket. Okay, my dear learners, uh, uh, come back here, uh, uh, filling the gaps with right form of the words in bracket. Uh, this is a great opportunity to so these types of exercise. Shamima is an inhabitant of a, a dash village. Inhabitant, inhabitant. What is inhabitant? Inhabitant is a person uh, who lives in a particular place of a, a type village. Village is a noun. Before a noun, you use adjective. So type is a noun. The adjective of this word typical. Uh, so uh, uh, easily we can say. Uh, he, uh, Shamima is an inhabitant of a typical village. She has a strong will force to. And uh, to you will use here form of a verb, uh, uh, present form of a verb, base form of a verb. Complete, completion is a noun. So right here, complete her education with bravery. Shamima could defy. Could is a modus. After modus, you will use base form of a verb. A verb so different will no won't be changed. Defy won't be changed. It will be right. Uh, it will. And the obstacles in her life, she has started. You see here, has his a uh, has uh, is a uh, uh, auxiliary uh, auxiliary of uh, present perfect tense. And after uh, this, you will use the uh, past personal form of a verb. So start will be started the business of her own. She has become a winner. How winner? Uh, becoming all the hours of life ing form. You will use here. This one. Now check the answers. Yes. First one, typical, complete, defy, started, overcoming. My dear students, now, uh, my dear student. Okay, dear boys and girls, uh, in this stage, I'll give you assessment. Uh, look here, uh, age, village, occupation, name of boutiques. There are some words. You will make some. Uh, you will make some questions. Questions, and uh, the question is like this. Uh, first one, age. How old is Shamima? Next village. What is the name of her village? Occupation. What does she do? Uh, name of boutique. What is the name of her boutique? The students. This is very easy. Always you practice in your home. Uh, uh, don't worry, don't afraid of uh, solving any exercise. It's just now I will uh, take you to again our uh, text. Uh, look at the page f uh, 44. The student, uh, I said to you that you will come this section, section C. Uh, I will give you a uh, homework. You will uh, answer answer these questions in your exercise uh, exercise book, and you will keep it to yourself. Na later, you will show your teacher whenever your school will be open. Uh, okay, dear students, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.